All right, well, Susan's on the phone. This is what we're going to work on. Okay. No. Hit me the same drives you've been hitting from that corner. I'm going to show you. Just stay here. You're going to be. You're going to be here. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to start with my heels on the white line. And when she hits me, I'm just going to return. This is what you're going to do. Okay. Oops. Okay. The key. The key. One sec. The key to these, mid, you, you and Susan are both kind of struggling with your mid-court stuff. So the, uh, this is part of why I wanted to do this drill setup. Um, one of the keys when you're receiving pace from, yeah, one of the keys when you're receiving pace from the baseline and you're in the mid-court is not to receive it passively. So you can't just sit here and wait for the ball to come to you and return it with your arm. You need to move your body weight forward. So if you can hit me some more drives, right? You need to try and, yeah, you're trying to move your body weight into the shot, right? And you, you still got to get under the ball. You've got to get under the ball. So I'm getting under and I'm getting my body weight moving forward, right? This is part of it. If you just stay passive and you just try and block it with your arm, I'm going to try it. Show me. That was a nice one. You're going to be a lot less effective. That's that drill. We're doing something else while Susan is while Susan's on the phone. I was just going to show you. No, no, it's just something else. Okay. But even even if even if with the with this setup, even with the drill we were doing. Okay, so now let's go back to the drill we were doing. Right, keep doing it, Christine. I'm going to do better at returning all of these if I have my body weight moving forward a little bit, right? And my plant foot needs to be wherever I'm returning from, right? So I don't want to be I don't want to be reaching out into weakness, and I don't want to be. I don't want to be doing this. You want to be, one more, Christine. You want to be stepping, oh, I want to step myself into weakness. One more. Christine's getting tired. That's all. Anyway, so what I'm saying is if when you're returning from here and you're trying to create these pop-ups, we don't want to be reaching out into weakness. You still, the principles of volleying still apply. You need to step, you need to plant, you need to have this tower, toe, knee, hip, shoulder, racket, as close to the ball as you can when you're returning it, right? Because the minute you reach out into weakness, you lose directional control and you lose power. So when we're the person who's in this position receiving these shots if you want to control the ball and get it to the green line you got to remember to get your tower of power close close to the ball does that make sense yeah so reaching out into weakness is going to be hard right which is why sometimes you need to cross step so you can get your tower closer to the ball yeah they are coming fast yeah and and that's why i'm saying you want to move towards the ball. Get your energy moving towards the ball and get this tower, the toe, the knee, the hip, the shoulder, the elbow, the forearm. Get it closer to the ball if you can. Okay? All right, so where did we end? Who was feeding when we ended? You were feeding at the end? Okay, Christine's going to be here. Susan's going to be driving. Uh, Angela's going to be there. Where were you, Angela? Okay, yeah, sorry. Angela's driving. There we are. Do your best. I get my brace next Wednesday. Yep. So. Um, so you want to start with your heels on the white line here. 
right? And uh, you're just trying to return to that green red key. Just try and give her something easy enough that she can pop up and put away. That's all we're doing. Okay, so we are working on three things here. In addition to this drill, which is about the shake and bake conceptually, you're working on your drives, you're working on your mid-court shots, you're working on your mid-court volleys and overhead, right? And all three of these are things that we need to work on, irrespect, independent of learning the shake and bake. This is a great drill for, the, for what's happening here. Nice yeah, for for you, you're still working on how you receive the ball because you, you need to be able to control the ball from the mid court, right? Everybody oh, does, okay. right? Okay. So my my instructional philosophy is you need to be able to hit uh, every shot at every speed, both sides of your body under every level of pressure. Under control. Under control, okay. right? It's all about ball control. Okay. So when people say, "Oh, you don't need to work on that. This is pickleball, not tennis." or this is pickleball, not squash. It doesn't matter. You need to work on your ball control skills. You need to be able to control the ball in drills. You need to be able to control the ball in games. And if you can control the ball in drills, you're gonna have a much better chance of controlling the ball in games. So we do different things that require you to do ball control things from different parts of the court. So I'm thinking if I return a lock to the middle, someone's gonna come in and smash it, right? But we're just doing that yeah, but let me let me show you an example of where you might use a lofty shot. Okay. Right there. Nice lofty little shot to this part part of the court, right? So or oh, I was terrible. On it. It, I might want to I might want to hit a lob to the back back court back here. So you need to be able to hit lofty shots even in games. Not everything can be a low hard drive. You gotta have you gotta have everything. Great drive, a little out, but it was a great drive. One sec, one sec, one sec. Don't don't hit me in the head. We're dropping on this green line. Put your feet on that green line. Drop it on the green line. This green line here, I want you to drop the ball on the green line. You can be wherever you want to be as long as you drop the ball on the green line. Yep, you're doing great. Heels on the right line. There you go. Good stuff. Heels, start with your heels on the white line. So you need it's to. Part of my nature yeah. to get up like that. I'm not sure. You just got to open your paddle face more. Okay. So point your paddle face at the ceiling. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll get there. Take it a little further out front. Oh, that was a good shot. There it is, right there! Look at there, Christine. Keep going. Right, nice try. One sec. 
You're going to make an adjustment to your stance. Rather than standing with your feet far apart, just put one foot forward and one foot back so you're a little more ready to move forward when you get an opportunity to. Okay. Okay, two more, then we're going to rotate. So the first time, first day, every time we learn a new drill, it's a bit of a struggle, right? So this is the first day learning a new drill. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle. A month from now, you guys are going to be doing this drill like in your sleep. Yep. Heels on the white line, Angela. Heels. Heels. We got the hang of it. Okay, now I'm adding the fourth and final element uh, that we're going to be working on today. So now I'm the fourth player in this drill. My job when she hits it up high is to back up and split step just before Angela makes contact. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Good. Okay, let me get reset. Okay. That was a bit of a chase. You put it up, you need to back up too, right? Okay. Hang on one second. All right. Back up, back up. Good. Oops, sorry. Okay. There we go. Oh. I started backing up before I even saw where you put it. One more, then we're going to rotate. Okay, so Susan's going to be here. Oh, just, yep. Just land it here. Green line, red two. Yep. Yeah, lofty. 
Yeah. It's a pop up. Okay, remember, as soon as the ball goes up, you guys can both have to start to back up. Okay. Did you back up? Yeah, we're back up. You did? That was awesome. Good backing up. Oops. I'll slow it down. Good. Good. Don't forget to back up. Don't just stand there. If you put the ball up, you've got to back up. As soon as it goes up, this is part of what we're working on, okay? Good job backing up. Well done. Okay, reset. There we go. Uh, no, I want you right up at the kitchen. Yeah, just, well, I'm not right there. But as, it, as if as if we were playing a game and your partner was returning the serve, right? So wherever you would normally be. Nice. Beautiful. Ready? Good. Right. Two more. There you go, Christine. That's beautiful, Angela. That's a beautiful feed, Angela. All right, last one. Good job. And you guys went back. Perfect. Okay, let's rotate. Now I'm going to be here. Heels on the white line, heels on the white line, at the kitchen, on the baseline. So your job, no, your job is when the ball goes up, you need to back up and do the split step as I'm, I'm if I get a chance to hit the ball. You gotta back up. Once you put it up, you gotta back up. When the ball goes up. You have to back up. You don't hold your ground on this. No, you back up. Oh, nice try. Trying to put him to here. Oh, neither one of you backed up. I suppose it didn't go up though. It didn't go up. Yeah, no, you're right. It didn't it didn't pop up, so you don't know. You did it right.
Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, okay. Last one, then we're going to rotate. Or we're going to do. Okay, three balls, then we'll do a pickup. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to change the drill a little bit. Let's do a pickup, and then we're going to we're going to turn this into a mid-court uh, drill. 